Hey guys, what is going on? I hope you all are doing well today. My name is Elliot and welcome back to another episode of The Fragrance Well. So you wanna dress it in black today. I got my black shirt on, got the black hat on. Not a big hat guy, but I figured I'd throw it on for today. And you need a fragrance to go along with that black. Uh, whether it's dressed up, dressed down, it doesn't matter. You're wearing black, you want a fragrance that kind of shows that or gives off that kind of an attitude. I got eight fragrances today that I think go well with a black shirt, regardless of what the situation is. We're gonna talk about them right now. All right guys, so let's go ahead and get started with one that I think is kind of obvious. You might think of a, a black shirt when you think of this fragrance. Coming from the house of Tom Ford, this is Ombre Leather. Ombre Leather from the house of Tom Ford. This is particularly the Parfum Concentration. Uh, I think this one is an obvious choice because to me, when you think of a fragrance that is leather forward, it has a lot of leather in it, regardless of whether it's animalic or not, if it's not like a suede white leather, uh, I think it goes well with a black shirt because you know, leather, when you typically think of leather, you think of it being black, even though it can come in other colors. Yep. This fragrance is no uh, stranger to that. Very leather forward, but also has some florals, florals and a little bit of sweetness to go along with it as well. This features black leather, cedarwood, green tobacco, jasmine, iris, violet leaf, and woodsy notes. If you know it, you know it. Ombre leather is a very popular fragrance from the house of Tom Ford, if not the most popular fragrance that is in the uh, Not the Private Blend collection, even though this originally did come out as a private blend fragrance. Uh, the Parfum, interestingly enough, is actually a little bit lighter in terms of uh, the darkness to it compared to the EDP. Either way, either one works. I think both are great. I wouldn't say having both in your collection makes a lot of sense. They are pretty similar in that vein. Uh, I happened to buy this right when it came out and I compared it to the EDP and I just died. This one worn out at the time, so I went with this one. But yeah, this is a fragrance that'll definitely go well with the black shirt. It can be dressed up, it can be dressed down. Casual event, date night out, formal event, doesn't matter. This one will get the job done, especially if you wanna wear a black shirt and have a fragrance that kind of matches that type of vibe. Ombre leather from Tom Ford. All right, so if you ever had uh, a certain color that you're wearing be the theme for the night and you actually wanted to wear a fragrance that either has that uh, color in the name or the bottle is the same color, yeah, I'm a little guilty of that too. That being said, this fragrance is no stranger to that, but it also does work with a black shirt. From the house of Prada, Luna Rosa Black. Prada Luna Rosa Black. Definitely the most unique offering from the Luna Rosa line in terms of stepping away from what Luna Rosa is kind of known for. This fragrance is very ambery for it and has some spiciness on the top and kind of a slight powderiness to it with some florals as well. Luna Rosa Black features Angelica, Bergamot, Coumarin, Patchouli, and Amber. This fragrance can certainly work with other colors. It doesn't have to wear a, uh, have a black shirt to accompany it, but it's a very nice night out fragrance. Very pleasant, like I said, a little bit of a different offering from the other Luna Rosa fragrances, even though those they all can kind of work for similar situations. This one definitely stands on its own, though, as being a little bit more mature, a little bit more unique. I really like to wear this on a night out, especially a nice dinner. I've definitely worn it when I've worn black, but I've also worn it with all white, too. So don't think it's just a black, fra a black shirt fragrance just because it has black and the name in the bottle's black. It's actually the only Luna Rosa fragrance I own and probably was gonna stay that way. Uh, at, at the time of this video, I know the new Luna Rosa uh, Ocean EDP just dropped. I will check it out, but my expectations are kind of low because my expectations are getting lower and lower for a lot of designer fragrances these days, but we'll see if it surprises me. Either way, I love this one. I think it is the, the most unique offering and that's why I chose to pick this one up. Luna Rosa Black from Prada. All right, so let's say you wanna wear a fragrance that on its own just has a lot of darkness to it to go along with the dark colors you're wearing, pri primarily black. This is coming from the house of Lalique, Ancre Noir. This is the original Ancre Noir, all about vetiver in the dampest, muddiest way possible as, as to, to what my nose has smelled up to this point. Not a fragrance that's for everyone, but I think it definitely makes me think of the color black when I smell it because of how damp and dark that it is. This features cypress, bourbon vetiver, Haitian vetiver, cashmere wood, and musk. Very earthy, very woody fragrance. It's like I said, it's all about vetiver in this. That's about all you're getting. It's tough for me to really put a situation on this fragrance. I think it's just one you wear if you really enjoy, but it can work for the office, maybe not over sprayed. It can even work 
for uh, you know, like a night out. If you you know, if you really want to go for that vibe, you just kind of want to have a mysteriousness to you. That this fragrance will accomplish that because it is very different from what most people are gonna wear on a night out, and it's going to uh, give a kind of a dark cloud around you. Not necessarily in a bad way. It's just this is this is the mood of that fragrance, and it goes very well with a black shirt, in my opinion. So Lalique Ancre Noir, very dark fragrance, great for a black shirt. Okay, so enough of that moodiness. Let's say you want to go out and you just want to smell like a sexy man. I don't think you can miss with this one. This is Tom Ford, Noir Extreme. Get it to where you guys can see it. Yep, Tom Ford, Noir Extreme. Uh, no stranger to this fragrance being popular if you've heard anything about it. Just smells sweet and delicious and complex and sexy. This is sex personified in a bottle. Features cardamom, mandarin orange, nutmeg, saffron, neroli, kofi, mastic, orange blossom, rose, jasmine, vanilla, amber, and sandalwood. It is what it is, man. It's a sweet gourmand fragrance with a little bit of creaminess to it. Just smells so freaking good. I really love this fragrance. It's very unique. There's not many fragrances out there quite like it, especially in the designer realm. Yes, Tom Ford is a designer. I know they make fragrances that you know people don't often think of as designer, but they are. That being said, yeah, this fragrance here definitely goes great with a black shirt. Perfect night out fragrance, perfect date night fragrance. Uh, great for having a fun time while you're wearing a black shirt. So that's why I threw this one in this list. Once again, this is Tom Ford Noir Extreme. All right, let's keep it in that sexy realm, but this one has a little bit more complexity to it. This is The Mean London's Carved Oud. The Mean London's Carved Oud. If you know anything about this fragrance, you know it is very similar to Tom Ford's Oud Wood, which I could have put in this list, but I have to be honest, this, even though it is based off of that fragrance, is far superior than Oud Wood. So I had to just go with this one. Because frankly, anytime I want to smell anything like Oud Wood, I pretty much just roll with this. This features Cipriol, Cypress, Cardamom, Pink Pepper, South Indian Oud, Patchouli, Cedarwood, Iris, Labdanum, Sandalwood, vetiver, vanilla, musk, and amber. Nice, spicy, and woody fragrance with a lot of sex appeal. Like I said, very similar to Oud Wood. It's gonna give you the same kind of wearing experience, although this one does last a little bit longer. Not a mega projector, although it's not really designed to be that way. It is an extrait de parfum, so you do get a much richer kind of wearing experience, but it's not like a blast off your skin kind of fragrance. So don't think it's gonna be beast mode just because it's an extrait de parfum, but it does have a lot more longevity. A Little bit more depth to this fragrance compared to Oud Wood. Can honestly go with a lot of different colors as well, but I do think it is a great black shirt fragrance. Great for a night out, great for a date night. Beautiful fragrance, high quality. Love this stuff here. This is the mean carved Oud once again. Great black shirt fragrance. All right, so this next one is kind of classy, but also can be fun. This is coming from the house of Givenchy. This is Gentleman Eau de Parfum Reserve Privé. I think that's the full name of it. We're just gonna call it Reserve Privé. Uh, I think this is, in my opinion, was the best designer uh, release of last year, and also I think it is the most popular. Sweet, kind of powdery, a little bit boozy, almost slightly gourmand, but a very well done flanker in the Gentleman line. This features Scotch Whiskey Absolute, Bergamot, Chestnut, Iris, Benzoin, Patchouli, Cedar, and Vetiver. Sweet and spicy and sexy, kind of warm. Definitely has an alluring uh, capability to it. But this one can go really well with a black shirt. It can go well with other stuff as well, but I do think this is uh, definitely a fragrance that goes well with a black shirt, particularly on a kind of a fun night out. Uh, it can be dressed up too, but it wouldn't be my first choice if I was gonna dress it up. So I consider this kind of a dress down, more casual, kind of like I'm dressed now, kind of black shirt fragrance. Once again, this is Reserve Privé from the Givenchy uh, Gentleman line. Okay, so this next one is very similar to Reserve Privé in that it is also powdery and sweet and spicy, but it is its own thing and it doesn't have any booziness or kind of gourmand qualities to it. From the house of Jean-Paul Gaultier, this is Le Mal Le Parfum. Jean-Paul Gaultier's Le Mal Le Parfum. Sorry if kids are watching. Uh, anyway, um, yeah, this fragrance is very powdery, very sweet, has a little bit of spice to it, but is a overly fun fragrance, uh, very playful, so I would dress this one down if you're wearing a black shirt and you wanna go for that kind of vibe. And also, I think it is one of the best flankers to the original Le Mal from John Paul Gaultier. This one features cardamom, lavender, iris, vanilla, and oriental woods. 
very strong fragrance, very powerful. You don't necessarily need a whole lot of sprays to it. It's, it projects very nicely. It lasts all, all night if you need it to last all night or even all day if you want to wear it during the day. But yeah, the black bottle kind of gives me that black shirt vibe as well. Although I think this one can kind of work with anything. But yeah, because it's a black bottle, I'm going to say it works well with a black shirt because it also does that. John Paul Gaultier La Mole Parfum. I almost dropped the bottle there. It almost flew out of my hand, but I caught it. All right, and last but not least for this final fragrance, you wanna wear all black, but you wanna be bold and alluring, sophisticated, command the room, almost king-like status. This is coming from the house of Amwage. Interlude Man. The original Interlude Man, also known as the Blue Beast. Kind of the wrong color scheme, but you know, it can work with a black shirt. This one here, also features notes like leather so once again i think when i think leather i think that works well with a black shirt but you also have some smokiness to this and some woods very complex fragrance very high quality but also very daring in many situations interlude features oregano pimento bergamot frankincense a poppinac cystus amber leather oud patchouli and sandalwood this fragrance is very deep and rich and smoky and spicy and uh, once again, leathery. <sighs> I love this fragrance. I, oh God, this is a masterpiece to me. I definitely would wear this with a black shirt. I would dress it up and frankly also dress it down because I don't really care. I'll wear it even in a casual situation. I've done that. I've worn this to go play top golf. Anyways, when you want to step it up a bit and wear a fragrance with a black shirt that's going to make you stand out just a little bit more than something that just has leather and you want to add some smoke to it, add some incense, add some spices to it, make it very much more forward and have you standing out a lot more, fragrance like this is going to accomplish that. This is Amwaj Interlude Man once again, the kingly fragrance for a man in a black shirt in my opinion. All right, guys, that's going to do it. Thanks for tuning in today. That was eight fragrances that I think would go well with a black shirt. Don't forget to leave a comment below. Let me know some fragrances that you think would go well with a black shirt. And do you agree with these choices here? Do these fragrances make you think of a black shirt? Let me know down below. Uh, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and like the video. If you like the content, feel free to share it. If somebody, if you think you know somebody that might enjoy this content. Once again, I will see you in the next episode of The Fragrance Well, and I hope you have a great day.